gonna start up here, but I'm gonna keep referring back to the note sheet some as we're doing this too. And you will have some reminders up at the top of your sheet, even tomorrow on the quiz, reminding you that right angles, the little squares, okay, you're gonna equal 90, triangles and straight angles are 180, and midpoint set them equal. So you're even gonna have a little bit of help that way. So today, we'll take a peek, let's see what we got. Okay, I see the little square there, so I know this is gonna equal 90. Well, what's gonna equal 90? Well, these two things put together are. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna combine terms that are alike. So I can either, I can do it one of two ways. I can either just write the different parts down here. And just add them in this way. Or, you could combine like terms right at the start before you even wrote the equation. But notice, I've got some stuff that's alike here right at the start. So if I got four x's and I got three more, I just put them together. And I've said this over and over, but it's true. Most of you, when it comes to doing regular equation stuff, do a tremendous job of getting those done. So what's going to be my next step in trying to get my x is alone. I heard it. Subtract. So I'll subtract that 41. That's good. So what would be my last step? Divide. Perfect. Okay, now, most of the time we're doing equations, we're content at this point. We got x, we figured it out. But now, there's a little more going on here. I've got to figure out what my angles are going to equal. So I go back and I say, okay, what are they asking for? MNP. Okay, MNP. So MNP is this one, which means I need to plug in my value to the 4x, but I know what the x is. The x is 7. So I go ahead, I get that plugged in for x, and I'm good and ready to go. And I'm going to do the same thing for p and q, which is this other angle down here. That's where I'm going to get my value from. So this is my 3x plus 41, but again, I know what the x is. It's 7, so I'm going to plug that number in. And the nice thing again about these is, you're always going to know if your answer is right. Because if these two make a 90 degree angle, if they should equal 90, if I add those, I should get 90, and I do. So there aren't a lot of things in math that give you a natural check, but this is one of them that does. So that's one thing we can do. Now, on two, we got the same idea, except I'm going to make a suggestion on this one. When we're doing an equation, I see these two angles make a straight line. Okay, makes a straight angle, it's going to be 180. So I know this is going to equal 180. But this time, instead of writing all these different things down, I'm going to combine my like terms right away. So I'm like, OK, I've got two x's, and I'm going to add two more. So I got four of them, because this will help me not get as confused later. But here's the part that might get me on this one. If I look at the numbers that are in front, OK, this 15 and this minus 19, and I do have to watch the sign here. I go, okay, let's see. It's Monday morning. I want to make sure this is going right because I don't want to have to go back and do it again. My gosh, it's already crazy enough. I've got to do it once. Okay, minus four. Okay. So I get that in there. And now again, just like all the rest of them have been, two-step equation will be done. Got to get those X's by themselves. 
What do I need to do first? Close That's right. That's absolutely correct. And then my last step on these always seems to be to divide, and that's true, because that undoes multiply. 184 divided by 4. Whew. Get the help out. All right, 46. <coughs> so I look at this and I go, okay. <coughs> now I'm going to use this last one to kind of help me. It's like, oh, B, C, D. Okay, that's this 2X plus 15. So my job is to plug the x value in for x and figure out what the answer is. So 2 times 46 plus 15 here. And again, notice, I'm not having to do anything fancy. I'm just pressing buttons on the calculator so it can help me out. And then I do the same thing on my other angle. Okay, DCE is right here. So I do 2x minus 19. And again, I'm just going to plug the x that I figured out before right in there. So 92 minus 19, if I plugged it in the calculator or did it in my head, is 73. And again, check it out. 107 plus 73. Let me make sure my answer is right before I go on. 180. Okay. I'm good. So you'll start to see it's just these same patterns develop. The only thing we really got to think about is, is it 180 or is it 90? Let me shrink that down a little. Okay. Last one's a triangle. Again, I got it right there. Triangles, 180. Man, I even got a head start on combining like terms here. So I know this is going to equal 180. Now, here's the big thing. When I'm combining my x's, how many do I have? Good catch. A lot of people forget about the one there, but not you. So good. That's six. And then my numbers, I got four plus five minus three. What would that get me? Somebody. Six. I'm like, all right. Not going too bad. And you're like, so it's just the same two steps all the time. To so that I say, yes. So again, undo the plus six. Oh, 174 divided by six. Let's see if my brain's going to turn on here. Uh, 29, I think, but somebody better double check me. I'm pretty sure I'm right. Yes. And again, just like we've been doing, go back. I want that measure of angle M. Okay. So that's this 2x minus 3. And again, I know what x is now. So 2 times 29 <coughs> minus 3, 58 minus 3 would be 55. And I'm just going to work my way. Next one's n, which is x plus 4. Plug in the 29 where x goes. Oops, I wrote a little too big. Okay. Which is 33. And my last one, p, if I look, is this 3x plus 5. So again, I replace the x with my x value. 3 times 29 is 87, plus 5 is 92. And let's make sure that everything is working well here. 180, perfect, okay? So I always have that way of making sure things are going all right. But otherwise, nothing too shabby. So I'm like, okay. And it looks like the ones on the bottom are kind of just repeats of the ones that we were doing up top. So that doesn't even seem like it's going to be too bad of a deal here. Let's move this up a little bit. And again, we can use the ones up above almost as examples for what we need to be doing down here below. 
So I look at number four and I go, okay. If I look up above, I combine the like terms first. So three and two is five, okay. I only got one number this time, plus 55. What's it gonna equal though? Does this one equal 180? Does it equal any random number I wanna put in? What do I have to set it equal to? Because it's not an equation if I don't set it equal to something. 90. And you're like, okay. And I know most of you, shoot, we're all creatures of habit. We get used to doing something. Bless you. Then divide by five. You're like, is divide always the last step? For these it is. Got seven again. And then again, my only job left, so the measure of ZVW, ZVW. Okay, so it's this 3X. And I just do three times seven, because that's what X is. It is, it's a bunch of little steps, but a lot of things we do in life are little steps that come together to make one bigger one. WVY. Is my 2x plus 55, but I know what x is. It's 7. And then I just make sure those two add up to 90, and they do, and I'm good. It's just a bunch of little mini equations, a little bit of substitution. If you're ever going to do any measuring for anything around the house or the apartment or wherever you happen to live, this is the type of stuff. We've got to be able to make little tweaks and do a little geometry. Okay, I was nice and gave a hint on this one. Straight angles, 180. All right, so I get to do the easy part. Equals 180. What's the front part of my equation going to look like? When I put my x's together and I put just my plain old numbers together, what do I end up with? Take it in pieces. If I just put the x's together, what do I end up with? 6x. All right. I got $30. I spend 18 of it. What do I have left? Twelve. I was gonna say, think about the cash. You got twelve bucks left. All right. And again, it's the same pattern. All right. Let's see if this one comes out nice. If we divide by six, let's see. Yes, 28. All right, so let's see what we got left here. Oh, DTQ. They're ahead of me. 4x minus 18. Stick in that 28 where the x goes. And I already forgot what you just told me the answer is. 94. So now if I did this right, this last one should be 86. You're like, how do you know that already? And it is, okay. Because 180 minus 94 should tell me what the other one's going to be. But just to be sure, and again, it's that x value I plug in. It's not the one I just did because I almost did that. 56 and 30, all right. But basically... Just knowing these few things tells me enough that I can get these set. So let's see here. One more here on the front, and then I think we change up a little with the different types of angles when we get to the back. All right, how many X's we have for this next one? Eight. Eight. 
And then again, be careful with your signs. Like this is still positive 11. Then I take four away, gets me down to seven plus four. So minus that four out of there. 176. And if we divide by eight, 22. Divide by eight, we get 22. All right. So the only thing I got left is to figure out my angles. A is x minus three. So it's 22 minus three, which would be 19. That's a little angle. D is two x minus four. So two times 22, because again, that's my x value. Minus four, which would be 40. So let's see here. One has last angle. I'm gonna have some size to it. H, yeah. Five times twenty-two plus eleven. Hundred and twenty-one. That's a big angle. But again, it's a process with lots of little steps. Was that? That's not good, man. I got a lot of you not feeling well in here. Oh, that's not good. We don't like it when we don't feel good. All right, to the back. Let's get this knocked out so we can start seeing what else is going on here. What? All right, perimeter. Here's what we're going to do. Any labels we see like meters and stuff, I'm gonna get rid of those. Because what tends to happen is we tend to let those mess with us. And I don't want anything messing with us. All right, so we'll get rid of that. So now, what's perimeter mean? Add, okay. So I'm gonna add up this stuff. Yep, eight and 12 is 20, I agree. And I got this 2x here. Now is this one, oops. Now is this one gonna equal 180? No, because no, they tell me what the perimeter is. We're not looking for angles this time. So I'm gonna go ahead. But you're like, oh, but the setup still seems to work the same way, and it does. Still gonna minus the 20. and we're still gonna divide. You're like, it just seems to be the same two steps, and it is. But here, okay, BC is just two times X. It's two times eight. Okay, 16. Now, eight I was nice, I shouldn't have been really. Eight originally looked like this. It just had the X and the 14. Now we gotta be careful, because when you've got a rectangle, we know the opposite sides are the same thing. So like if this were the quiz tomorrow, it may look like this. And then I'm hoping you remember, oh yeah, well this has gotta be the same as this, this has gotta be the same as this. And then I can get my equation from it. Because I look and I'm like, well, I got two X's there. And then 14 and 14 is 28. And again, I always wanna look to see, because if they're giving me perimeter, I'm not looking for angles, I'm looking for sides. But otherwise, I'm doing everything the same. And after so long, even if you've had some issues with this, when you do it for so long, it just becomes kind of second nature. Because then I can get to the answer. It's not so bad. Okay, nine looks like the quiz, really. And again, it's just remembering how these different parts are gonna work. So then I go back and I go, okay, I need to know how many X's I got. I got two, I got four, I got five, I got six of them. For my numbers, my constants, I got eight. Minus four is four, plus eight gets me back to 12. Minus four gets me right back to eight. 
and they tell me the perimeter. It's going to be 50. And again, we go right back where we've been. I'm going to minus the 8. And then just divide by 6. And then again, just be careful on which sides you're figuring out. It should go UV is just 2x plus 8. So I'm going to plug in the 7 where my x went. So 14 plus 8 would be 22. And then VW would be x minus 4. And it's good that I wrote that in there because otherwise I'd have been like, I don't know. It should be 7 minus 4, which is 3. So again, whenever you see perimeter, you're just adding up all the sides and setting them equal to whatever number they happen to give you down there. Same thing here. It's the same idea. Add up what you see from the x's first. There's 12 of them. So I got 10. Minus 9 is 1, so I got a dollar. Oh, and I went and spent 5. That's not good. Now I'm 4 in the hole. Set them equal to the perimeter, because again, I'm always going to look to see if it's perimeter if I'm looking for angles. And again, undo my minus 4 by adding it. Undo my 12 there by dividing it. And again, don't let yourself get messed up by this. Shoot, use the calculator. Some of you are good about doing that. You know, you don't have to be a hero here and do everything without it. 18 plus 10 is 28. The idea is that we know how to do it. If we need a little help with some of the calculations, that's okay. UV is 5x minus 9, so 5. My x is 6. Minus 9. Let's see. 30 minus 9. 21. TV. TV. 4 times x minus 5 would be 24 minus 5. It's 19. 28, 19, and 21. That adds up to 68. All right. So I just keep working through these, and I look for the key words and things. Perimeter, adding up the sides. Midpoint. Midpoint means you set the two sides equal. So 3x plus 12 is going to equal 60. Okay, that's my equation. I don't even have to combine like terms or nothing. And you're like, let me guess. Got to get this into that side. It's true i got to undo it, just like I've undone, like the last 10 problems. Again, it's a pattern that develops. Solving equations like a champ. Finding answers, keeping it simple. AB is just this 3x plus 12 part. Yeah, so I plug that in. And I get 60. Now, this is the one that was getting some of you the other day. I don't know how to do AC. Okay, AC. Now, here's how AC works. AC is the whole thing, right? So if I did AB plus BC, I'd get the whole thing. Okay. So I look. AB, we just figured out, is 60. All right. BC, before we even started the problem, we knew what that was, is 60. So it's 120. I'm just going to add them up. So when you're asked for the whole thing, whether it's an angle, a segment, whatever it happens to be, just add the little pieces up until you get the big one. Keep it simple, keep it simple, keep it simple. So let's see here. So now the next one. Is that a midpoint on number 12? 
No, that one's not a midpoint. That's kind of like our perimeter was before. Not quite the same idea, but close. So when I get here, I want to go ahead and I want to combine my like terms. But this time they tell me what the whole thing equals. So now, you're like, I know, I know. Undo the plus or minus, and then we're going to undo the multiply. That's right. It's true, it's true. We'll divide by the 5, get my n. And then to get the pieces, just the same thing. Rs is 2n. 2 times 9. SV is 3n minus 6. So let's see, 27, oops, move up a little, minus 6. It's 21, and they add up to 39. Okay, I'm good. Now, 14 will be the same as 12, but 13, we've got to be careful. Midpoint is equals, is equals. Same deal. If you're an expert at equations, you're an expert in class because equations are something in here that aren't going to go away no matter what we happen to be working on at the time. x is going to be 5. Then again, just look for the pieces. a, b is 6 times x plus 18. So let's see, 6 times 5 is 30. 30 plus 18 is 48. And again, a, c is just the two pieces put together. It's a, b, plus B, C. The two parts make a whole. So A, B, I just figured out is 48. B, C, they already told me is 48. And I just add them up and I'm good to go. And then finally, 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 on 14, again, they tell me the length of the whole thing. I'm going to put the pieces together. So 9 and 6 is 15. I only got one regular number. And while we're finishing up this last one, as we undo the minus 4 here, what I think we're going to end up doing is we're going to end up talking about the consecutive integer sheet tomorrow. So you'll need to have that back, because after we do our quiz, we're going to take a peek at how consecutive integers work. And it's another thing that has to do with equations. And then just again, nb is 9 times x minus 4. So 45 minus 4 is 41. bq is 6 times x. 6 times 5 is 30, and 41 and 30 is 71. And as always is the case with me, my previews and my quizzes look eerily similar to each other. So just take a little bit of time. And also, this one's in the homework check. I mean, this is free points, basically. The three for completing, and then whatever couple of problems I put on the homework check, this is like five free points, plus you're getting to see exactly what the quiz looks like. So that's a good thing. Um, and we'll kind of work at it that way. Like I said, we'll do consecutive integers tomorrow, get a little algebra in there with the quiz, and then we'll be ready to go to the next thing.